Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how we're growing these potatoes in a five gallon bucket. What you'll need today is of course a five gallon bucket, a soil mixture, which the best soil mixture that you can get is about one third peat moss, one third regular topsoil, and then one third compost, cow manure, or if you have uh, some worm castings to throw into this mixture too, not at a one third ratio of course, but adding worm castings is going to be a great amendment to the soil. And then you're gonna also need your seed potatoes. I'll talk to you guys about the potatoes and how to get them ready for this project in a little bit, but first off, the first thing that we're gonna want to look at is the holes in the bottom of this bucket. We wanna make sure that we add drainage holes so that the, your potatoes are not sitting in water because that's gonna be one of the quickest ways besides the cold freezing temperatures to kill your potatoes. Speaking of freezing temperatures, you want to start growing your potatoes once your nightly temperatures reach about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. I always recommend shitting your potatoes about three to four weeks before that period inside. I have a video all about that and I'll have that in the link down below and I'll also put together a playlist for you guys for all of my potato growing videos just for your reference. So let's take a look at these chitted potatoes that we've got here. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the potatoes. So you wanna make sure that you get these chitted ahead of the season where you plan on growing it. If you haven't chitted them and it's already 45 degrees at night, go ahead and put them right into the soil because they're gonna start growing just like they would as if you're setting them to the side to chit. So come look a little bit closer and I'll show you guys how to cut up your potatoes and then we're going to place them into the bucket here. So here's what our chitted potato looks like. We've had this sitting on our windowsill for several weeks now and it's to the point that we're ready to cut it up and divide it. Now this is kind of an optional step. Some people do this and then other people just throw the whole potato into the bucket, but I've had better results with cutting it up into sections. Here are some examples of sections that we already cut up. These have been sitting for about three or four days out on the kitchen counter. That way they callus over and it's not likely to rot and decay because of that callus. It kind of provides a nice seal on that cutting. This is what you're gonna to want to end up with for putting your potatoes in your bucket is this right here. What we want to do is put our first layer of soil about four inches from the bottom of the bucket. So four inches of soil, and then at that point, we're going to be laying our seed potatoes right down there on top of that soil. Okay, we've got our four inches of soil in the bottom of our bucket. Now we're going to place three of the cut sections of our potatoes into this bucket. I'm just gonna put one right on top of there. One right here. And our last one right there. So now that we've got our potatoes on top of our first layer of soil, we then mound up four to six inches of soil after that. This is gonna be providing the main growing area for your tubers, your potatoes, that is actually gonna give you that harvest. After that point, once you see your potatoes starting to grow through that extra four to six inch layer, about right here, that's when you're going to mound it up yet again to about an inch from the top of your bucket. That top inch just gives you an area for water to hold when watering your potatoes. So now let's talk about watering. Since there is a lot of peat moss in this mixture at about a one third ratio, this is going to hold moisture pretty well, but yet any excess water will be draining out of the bottom of this container. So the biggest thing when growing these potatoes is that you're not waterlogging them and that you're, they're not sitting in water. Otherwise, they're gonna rot away. And they're also going to rot away if it gets way too cold at night. Again, make sure your nighttime temperatures are around 45 degrees Fahrenheit. 
when you think it's about time to water your potatoes, usually it's going to be once every week or once every five or six days, just reach down at about an entire finger's length deep. Go pretty deep into that soil. And if it's moist still, then don't water it. But if it is completely dry, all the way down, say, say about four inches deep into the soil, if it's completely dry, then you can go ahead and give it a nice watering. Well guys, I hope you found today's video entertaining and possibly even learned a little bit about how to grow potatoes in a bucket at home. It's a lot of fun to do, easy to do, and is honestly a great way to grow potatoes with a lot, without a lot of maintenance or care throughout the season. It's so easy to do. I definitely hope you guys give this a try at home. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Happy gardening, and we'll see you in the next episode.